Welcome back, my better friends. Ben Pearson, the Redster Tracker, and we are continuing, blah, continuing to not speak very well. Apparently, um, we could do medium miners. Let's do medium miners real quick. So I want to use. I mean, I don't know how much of a difference it'll make. Do they still only cover their footprints? Yeah, I mean, uh, I really want the normal miners that we can let uh, stuff run through. The only thing we can do is the fueling demonstration. So we're going to need... Well, we can build a few of these, actually. Let's just build them. I'll figure out what we're going to do later. Um, closed turbines we can build now. Woohoo! Oh, that's cool. Small tanks, can we build those? No? You need medium tank twos. Okay. So we can build a few medium tank twos, which store 30,000. We need two of them. Uh, some of these recipes are kind of ridiculous. But the closed uh, cycle will be very, very helpful in reducing some of our issues. Let's... Our water loss. Water is one of the big things. And then top-up valves will need some plastic. Okay. You know, I think these are going to be common enough. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, hang on. We need the small tanks here. So uh, they go... You can actually go right here. It's fine. You're going to be the small tanks. Good. And we're going to build these guys. They're going to build... Hmm. Let's do... One-way valves. <clears throat> we don't really use them. Barrel pumps is something we're going to need soon, too. <coughs> but I don't really feel like doing those yet. We'll do these guys. Oh, they need the open turbines too. Hmm. Let's dump whatever we've got in here. Uh, top off valves come from plastic and auxiliary valves, which are the green ones. We have both of those things readily available. So let's go ahead and get you here, there. No, it's got to be here. And then we're going to jump these guys. And you, wait, hang on, it's got to be here. Jump like this. Okay, and we're going to do one here, one here that is a long reach. And you're going to be top off valves. And then we just need to get some power flowing here. Little squigglies with the wrong order, but that's all right. So that will make the top up valve, which is what we're needing here. Good. And I'm going to leave these here now. These turbines, closed turbines, how hard were they? They're pretty easy to make, but let's just... I don't think we're going to use a whole bunch of them. So let's just go ahead and feed these as an input. Through a chest. Uh, we'll stick everyone that we have. Sure, why not? 
If I can find them, here they are. Oh, we don't have any on us. Interesting. We've got two of these closed cycles already. Woohoo! Um, some of these we can tap over here to get water. But I'm okay with the open cycle for these guys. Closed cycle, we really want to use in our battery backup because we don't have enough water, quite frankly. Of the clean water. There is enough here, though. Seawater filtration is not working. Hmm. I don't think these relief valves work as well as I had hoped. Okay, well, we'll just leave him be. We'll figure it out later. I think this one might work. I think you have to have a pump on one end is the trick. Okay, well, that means we probably don't want that one here. And I'm probably going to lose some of the control. Now, this... Hang on. That one, we've got a smarter control, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, anyways, let's go back to what we were originally trying to do, which is these closed circle turbines, so that way we can recover some of the water. It's not going to be all of it, but some of it is better than none. Okay, and then we need to do backups. How do these work? I think I just have to take the water out of here. So, hmm, something like this maybe? Okay, there's precious, precious little here. So let's see, what's the max power one megawatt? I mean, they're just as efficient. The only difference is, is they output the water. Okay. This is configured closed backup turbine. Yep. So looks like we did run these guys a little scooch. Why are we... This is the surge electrolyzer. We're not supposed to fire it unless we have an actual surge, and then we're not supposed to use the backups unless... Well, they're holding on to the power there, so I guess that's okay. As soon as it releases the power, no doubt it's going to produce some water. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Hmm. 
All right, let's um, we're gonna continue to replace all of those, so we can capture all the water and anything that's anywhere near one of our main things will also tap off. This is kind of sad. Why are we not making any more plastic here? It's because we have no ethane. Okay. No. No propane. We have no propane because... What at the end we have an excess of? Ooh. Hmm. Well, what can we do with the butadien? Benzene we can burn. So the butadien, is there anything else that we do with it? Ethene, steam, produce well, that's okay. This is fine to be in excess because we don't need any of it. That's just for the rubber, I think. And we have plenty of rubber. So, is it this one? Benzene is lacking. Okay. <coughs> Why is benzene lacking? Because we have too much... Methane? Really? Really, game? Yeah. We have a lot of ethane. Hmm. We have enough where I'm a little bit tempted to burn some of it. Maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll burn off uh, some, but we need to think about how we're going to make that work. But for now, let's go grab some more of our combustion chambers. I can't believe we have ethane to the point where that is not our problem anymore. Okay, we're going to copy paste these guys. Could probably upgrade those to Furnace 2s and let it go a little bit faster too, but mm, where's the fun in that? I say there is no fun in that indeed. Um, should have a good amount of rail by now. Hmm. Look at this. We're fully stacked up on rail. We've got these closed turbines. We've got 48 of them. <coughs> That's more than enough to upgrade all of our various things and do some more. And quite frankly, we can tap some extra sources of water. We could do like these ones. This is close enough to the water. Let's go ahead and tap these guys. Okay. These guys can just be a standard config. Uh, where are you? Close cycles. I always escaping me. There we go. Yep, and they're producing water. Woohoo! Did you look at that? Super, super clean, pure water. It's an alternative way to get the water. And we can see... Well, actually, that's a fairly full water. Hmm... So then we want to electrolyze this 
Not the saline, the... This guy... Wait, that's brine electrolysis. Okay, we'll give you an extra one. And then this will be... We have the pure water. That comes in here and... We have an excess of hydrogen, okay. Of oxygen. That's fine, we can just put another chimney here. Or replace this rather. We have too much water in the system. Wowzers. Um, let's pump the water away from here. And that will help a little scooch. Looks like we're gonna need more pumps. Yeah, we very, very clearly only want to pump water out. Um, I'm actually okay having another tank here of water, too. We could go use some of this elsewhere. Uh, how's the hydrochloric acid? We actually have quite a bit of it. Good! Good, good, good. We're burning away all of the garbage. Slowly but surely. Cool. Um, we could eat some sand. Sand is a problem, but it's not super, super critical. I mean, we can actually see that we're still getting some sand in from other sources, so it's, it's high, but it's not the end of the world. Still. Hmm. Let's go pick up pumps while we're here. And then let's get more power set up using this new th system and get some more water into the system. Because I love having some clean O2. H2O. I think we have plenty of these, but let's just do a little top off. Outflow, I'm gonna stick my excess here because I don't want that many and chimneys. Jeez, how many chimneys do we need, man? Let's leave our excess here. We're bound to collect more than we need. Hmm. Okay. Coming along. So what we could do... This is actually a good situation for a relief valve. So we could do a pump fed in here. Uh, so go down here, we're going to pump this in. So that will be high pressure. And then we're gonna put one of those relief valves here. I'm actually gonna put a couple of them on. So then if the nitrogen gets to be high enough pressure, then it's going to automatically fill, kick in the uh, overflow. I think this will work. I just want to see it work before we get too excited. Still pushing up the pressure. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is there a leak around or something? Go ahead and put a pump here too. So that way. Well, hang on, hang on. We actually don't want the pump going that way. Um, the pump is from the source side, but this is uh, the stuff that we may need to consume. We want that to be at high pressure all the time. And if it's too high, then we're going to pierce this. That's that's the goal. Our carbon dioxide levels are pretty high. Over 75%. Pump filled tank to spill excess quantities of a byproduct for venting to avoid blocking production. Okay, let's try this. Maybe it has to be directly fed into the pump. Okay, we're gonna try that. Okay, let's see. Let's put this here and we're going to pump in directly there. And then the relief valve will be here. Directly there and we go along there. Hey, that works. Guess that's how it has to be done. If you put the pump in directly like that, then it will, okay. Increase the amount that goes in there too. Like this is. Okay. So we're gonna have to change how we do these setups. Hmm. But now it's fine-ish, I guess. We could probably tap some overflow heat here. Um, tell you what, the steam is all coming from over here. Let's go follow this across and we're gonna find where it's feeding in We need to feed this directly into here, okay. So this one is no longer needed. Okay. So we're gonna put you here. Something like there. And then we're gonna pump you in here. And then we're going to put a relief valve here. And that relief valve is going to go through... Let's just do one of the closed cycle turbines, which are here. And then that gets pumped into our water. Where are you, water? Water's going out. Good. Look at this. So now we'll have a little bit of excess steam, a little bit of improved water production, a little bit of power if we have it available. We can see that the standard turbines are 
roughly giving us the same amount of power as solar power now, which is good. We'll see if we can improve that some. Okay, we do have a fair bit. Let's see. More steel rods and aluminum heat shields. Okay. Aluminum sheets. Uh, let's take the heat pipe we've got and the aluminum sheets here, and then we're going to make steel rods, and we'll go down somewhere else to do this. Look at this. We're getting actual aluminum in real quantities stacked up for use somewhere, someday, somehow. Hmm. We need to crush our ore, which will be done here. Looks like our iron is having no problems getting out. <coughs> it's, uh, definitely got to get out some days. All right. Uh, we have bigger miners. Let's try one of these. Maybe here? It only will probably dig right below it, but that's okay. Jeez, we're gonna be making that for forever, especially how little science we have been doing. Okay. Oh, we don't have sand. Yeah. We'll have to get some sand coming along. Let's see. Steel rods. And then we're going to make our solar collectors. They need more glass now. Wow. Glass is right here. Um, I'll take a few filters, I guess. It's not a big deal. Okay. We gotta start making those, but we need the train for that. Hmm. We have tracks. We have robots. Let's go ahead and start thinking about this. I think the rail will come along here. It's going to go up through here. Now, I think the odds of us having anything much larger than this are pretty slim. Um... Let's start with this. Rail yard. Rail yard, it's got to be here. Unload, unload stuff. Um, I think we're going to do four car trains, one car. This is similar to factorial freight forwarding, I believe, that we box and unbox stuff. Or we will eventually. We don't think we can quite do that yet. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the rail line along here. That's the one thing I do know that we're going to want. And power basically right here. So rail will definitely place here. One, two, three. OK, 
Okay. Um, pylons, can we make those? Probably not, no. So let's just lay the rail down for the moment. Mm, I'm gonna actually put it below right here. Perfect. And we'll have to deal with some... We have lots of landfill. We may as well use some of this. Let's copy this segment here. the beauty of three wide trains you can do stuff like that i know they're going to fix it so you can do a lot better train stuff like that but <clears throat> this will do can we do the train signals yet you know we really can't mm -hmm. it's kind of tempting to do i mean Having better chests, but those are really just dump chests. We don't really need huge chests and warehouses and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe with a train, but I don't think we even want to mess with that. And I really don't think we do. Hmm. Okay. Looking fine. Uh, let's go set up some solar power. Because we do need more power. Always need more power, man. Can never satisfy the greedy. Look at this. Poor, poor satisfaction. Oof, oof. The open turbines are helping, but they're not helping as much as we need. So this is going to be a closed design. I'm going to copy this blueprint exactly. We're going to paste it. See, I think the goal is to do the rail station somewhere in this vicinity. We'll do a curve up here so that way we can avoid that. Um, south of the rail would not be bad. Let's do... Oh. I can't rotate those. I can only do left-right rotation. Interesting. That does make sense though. Um, okay, so we're gonna lay down our custom design. Let's do... We're gonna do a four by four. Then we're going to heat pipe all of these together. And then we're going to do something like this. Except for it'd really be easier if we did this on the other side. So let's bring all of this over to the other side. The reason being is because the pumps will go the right direction. And move this as far up as we can. OK. 
Okay. Waste will deal with um, water. You're going to come in through like this way. Okay. Let's copy this little bits. Little patient bots waiting for me to place the stuff. Let's try this. That's not right. Yeah, that's the wastewater connector. I don't know what that pipe is for. Uh, then we got a third one and I guess we'll just make do with the three. We could put some on the other side, I suppose, if we wanted to. We could even extend the Ooh, let's... We'll extend it out in a bit, but... Not yet. Can't do wind here, that's fine. Let's do... let's see... Seawater intakes, we need one, two, three. One, two, and three. Get these all powered up. They are good. Okay. This is good. I suppose, hang on, we're going to switch these out to um, closed in a sec. And then we're going to use the water from one of them so we can do one of those every four. Uh, let's just at this point in time do this. Okay. So the temperatures are still rising. Would be a little bit less electricity and how much more efficient is doing pure water? So that'll do 235 steam versus 270 and we don't have to deal with the waste I mean maybe the waste isn't really that much of a pain to deal with hmm no I think we're well we have limited uh, turbine too so we'll just uh we'll do very similar but slightly tweaked and see if that helps any just to compare the designs we're just gonna play around with stuff and see see how it works see what works better um what am i looking for outflows Right there. Okay. That goes directly to the outflow. Good. Uh, can we make three more? No. Missing just glass. That's fine. We'll go ahead and connect these guys up. And I'm going to do effectively the mirror image design for there. Except for... We're going to use the more advanced ones just to see if we can do anything different with that. It'll be fun to try something new. Okay. I 
All these filters will probably eventually come into use. So what we're gonna do is three boilers similar to the other side. One is gonna, two are gonna be seawater, the bottom two, and the top one is going to be um, actually, let's do four. One, two, three, and four. So this top one is going to be pure water. And then the other ones will all be the boiled seawater. So we go like this and there and here and here. But wait, these guys have to be seawater. Okay. So these are all going to go like this. In theory, this design should work quite nicely. And there's no waste on there. So the waste we're going to have to capture here. And we'll send it this way. Just trying different designs, seeing what sticks. And then an outflow here. Okay. The inflows are fine. Um, do you need power? So we're hooked up to the main grid now. We just need to get our seawater inputs and hook those up. Yeah, I screwed that one up, didn't I? These guys are too close. Um, so let's do control X. We're going to paste you up here. Okay, and control X and you're gonna go about here. So I also needed to get this, that's fine. You can go here, here. And everything has power. That power is connected to the grid. Good. Now, we're going to have to take all of our intakes from this direction, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's not going to be a major concern. Seawater intake goes here. One, two, and three. We need to come along here. Okay. Hmm. And then we'll get you guys some power. Good. So they almost have the heat. Soon all of these guys are going to start boiling and we should have a fair bit more power. Now I think this side is the side that we're going to seek to emulate. 
I do like this design. But... We'll see. Uh, let's take a peek. We've got our rail lines going. We really haven't explored that much outside of our sensor coverage. I would love an actual true radar. Okay, let's see. What do we need for the next science? Because that's really our major factor. So we need insulated wire, logic circuits, lamps, and capacitors. Okay. So... Capacitors are graphite, plastic, alumina, alumina, and aluminum sheet. So alumina is actually important. Interesting. Okay. It's another thing that we're going to have to save off. Lovely. Um, all right. Let's see. Production. It's not. It's probably logistics. Logic circuit is graphite, plastic, aluminum wire, polycrystalline silicon. Okay. That's not so bad. Graphite. Oh, we're going to need so much graphite. Three ingredients already that require graphite, and we just can't seem to get that much of the stuff. And insulated wire is probably rubber, I'm guessing. Where's the insulated wire? Is that in... Not metallurgy. It's probably here. No, there it is. Rubber and aluminum wire. All right. Anywho, this is long enough for now. Thank you guys so much for joining. Let me know what questions or comments you guys have. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.